welcome uh, we are in the course now and i'm going to add different materials but before that i want to take you to the google drive and uh, as you know the contents will be linked including the youtube links so i'm going to show you that how you actually add different icons let's go to the google drive and this is my drive there is a folder called online Online means um, you can name it online courses or you know LMS courses and under this folder I have a folder for my respective course with the course code and then if you click this course you can see that there are different folders book class discussion labs others if you go further in the book you can see the different books that you're going to use in this course you can go to the class discussion to see different slides you can go to labs to see different labs and you have other materials as well now uh, once it is in place that means before you actually lay down your content of the week you have to create necessary folder on google drive upload all materials including your course outline and other things so what I have to do now, I go into, let's say, in my LMS course, and I'm going to, this turn editing is still on, so I'm going to edit this. For example, I'm editing this section, I want to add two books. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you that how you do it. For example, you can say textbooks. And this textbook section you bold it and then add a reference URL and then what you can do you go to the Google Drive get into the book and books folder and once you're there maybe you can actually you know go and this is very important that you share it with the public link so how do we do that you see I change and then I bring it to anyone with the link that's very important and copy this link and done now once it is done you come back to here you say the title of the book let's say whatever the title of the book and then block it and you're going to actually click here to add the link this link and don't forget to check this because it's opens in a new window and uh, this save changes you can add actually contents like this you can see this is the book and if you open the book is going to open here and you can see the book so you have added just a book uh, with your content and now i'm going to show you that exactly same way you can actually add all the contents like for example if you want to add here your first lecture and the other materials add an activity go to level most common most common form of components add and then you may say here that class discussion slide so you may bold it and then go into here class discussion let's say i want to link this one and again share and then change bring it to everyone anyone with the link and then copy the link and done and then i back to my lms click here and put the link and then this create link this my class discussion slide i can actually do a lot of control restrict access activity completion we can actually gradually talk about it and then save and return to the course so what happens this class discussion slide is added but sometimes you see an additional space you can do this you can go to edit setting and then come to the whole html tag and you can remove this one and save it so once you're saved you can see it looks better and you know the most interesting thing is that i will always prefer that you put numbers 
for example the first item you will always say don't put um, you know old you know don't put this you may say one by one the first item and you can also give some instruction here that will be discussed during the, during the class during the class and you save and return to course so you can see 1.1 it is better because you organize 1.1 1.2 1.3 and so on now let me show you how do you add a youtube content for example you go to youtube and then come here and let's say i just put data structure because i'm searching data structure and let's say data structure is an advanced course suppose so you want to be a software engineer at google, google. go to algo and i take this in the, into my copy and come here back to my course let's say i want to add an activity again and you go to level okay fine come here and you may say uh, like this you may say 1.2 video video on video on data structure and then you click into this insert video record this video put the url here and then display option you click you give roughly the standard size is 500 by 300 and then you insert the media remove these additional lines and then save and return to course you can see this video is nicely linked and as an item all right so um, we we have we had a uh, understanding of how we put the content thank you